Hi, it's Lisa. And Yolanda. Yolanda is showing a tutorial for roll. It's, a, it's called a rolled paper technique. And we learned this on YouTube, and we will put the link below. She actually rolls newspaper. I mean, I'm sorry, not newspaper. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you could use newspaper. Yeah, <laughs> newspaper. I'm um, catalog or magazine pages that are colorful. Yes. Anything that you can possibly get your hands on. <laughs> Colorful. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Show us the paper. The more colorful the paper, the better you are. The prettier it's going to be. Unless you have a color scheme in mind. Show us the yellow. See, for this one, the yellow. Okay. Nope. There's more. Okay. There we go. And then I picked a gray <laughs> black. There we go. So any of these would be perfect. Okay, now she's going to show you how she rolls it onto, what do you roll it onto? A paint stick? Um, I roll it onto a paint stick, and the way you glue it on is to, it, it'll show how it doesn't get stuck to the paintbrush. But generally, this is a small example. This is a 3x4, and I already pre-glued one to give you an idea, but I'm going to show you. So here's the, the blank that you're going to start with. And then another one. another one that I'm going to show you how it has. And the they can't see this. They can't. No. Oh. They're looking at a line on a white piece of paper. Oh my! <laughs> that is a rolled tube. You can also make um, earrings. I mean, um, beads. Yeah. With it, if it's shorter. But it's the application. It has many ways you can deal with this. It's not just papers, canvas, anything you feel like doing. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. Now tell me, does this look? Can they see that? Yeah. These are three tubes of different sizes. Now, if you want to, like I said, we're going to show you how you um, roll the paper. I'm behind the camera today. <laughs> this you should see me dancing. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is Liquitex <laughs> flat gel, and this is tacky glue. Uh -huh. So, if you don't have Liquitex matte gel, which gives you the flat finish, that if you like that, if you want the glossy, then you put the glossy. Or if you don't, and you just have this or yeah, Elmer's glue, yeah. you use that. Yeah. So I've already uncovered my matte uncovered my matte gel, and here's the paintbrush. Now I already <laughs> cut down the paper, and tell me if they can see this. You have to hold it to the right, baby. There you go. I've already placed the paper underneath my paintbrush, and I start to roll it. You can't see. You can't see. Your hands are covering it, baby. Okay. How about if I have it down there? Okay. What she's doing is she's wrapping the um, magazine page around the paintbrush. Kind of similar to... Like making paper beads. Oh, yeah. It's, and she's rolling. She's getting a little start on the brush. Now, you can glue it as you go along. I've seen one person People that will glue it, it uh -huh. as they go along. Now, what I'm doing is I have this right here. You have to hold everything over the craft paper, over the craft ah. paper. There you go. Now we can see you. And I'm taking <laughs> some of the glue. Yeah, and she puts it right here. Right here. Yay! And I just roll it on. And the seam that you have there, you're going to want to have that pretty much held down. <laughs> can they see it? Mm hmm. Okay. And as you see, I'm working this, working this, but I'm not getting any glue on the paintbrush ends, like right over here, over here, because you want to be able to slide it off, like so. Now, you have your choice. You can use any medium you want to glue your paper tube to. And your size is strictly up to you if you don't have a pattern or design. Over here. Oh, and what she means by pattern design, like if she wants to draw uh, a triangle mm -hmm. or a circle, then that means you cut your long beads first to fit in the circle. And then they have to, they have to start getting shorter and shorter as you get to the edge. Oh, you know what? Let me run and get the heart. Okay. And <laughs> over here, what you'll see me doing is that I am starting to glue the bottom of it so that it will adhere to the piece of paper. And I'm just kind of rubbing it so that it'll, it'll stick a little better. In this case, I'm leaving it long. And I'm going like that. Now, if I wanted to do a short one like that, I already have prepared here. I do the same procedure again, put it on the bottom, and then I will glue it like that. Okay, you have to hold it up, honey, because they can't really, they can't really see, see it. Okay. Now, your hands are covering what you're doing. 
Just hold uh, it up so they can see where you glued it. I laid one good. down. I cut one. To the and then I And then I cut one and had this one Ooh. here a little bit shorter. But I'm just making random patterns with these things. Now you see me cutting it. I know that sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> now, I, now I breathe. Now I see my hair now. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I sound so silly over there. <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's funny. It makes me smile. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Now I got this other one glued down again. Yeah, that way they can see you. Yeah. And your fingers make some so they can Yeah, see well, I'm trying to make sure none of this falls off when I lift it. What kind of going to fall off when you lift it? It always does that. <laughs> Things always... <laughs> they always have wonky. to wonky when you don't want them to. When you're, when you're doing a tutorial. That's what we don't like to do. <laughs> and since you all don't know it, I hate goo. I run for the hills. I always have a baby wipe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're going to show them that. Oh, how cute. Just hold it up. Yeah. Can they see it? Yeah, they can see it. Now, that's just the beginning of it. And you would keep going and filling in with all different colors. This one is more neutral, obviously, but with the other patterns, if I wanted to, I would roll up the different colors and I would be sticking it all over the place until it either takes a shape that I, it appeals to my eye or I come with a preformed design or stencil and I put it on there. Now, if you notice, as she gets closer to this edge, her pieces are going to get shorter. Yeah, shorter okay. and shorter. I brought the other one if you want to show. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. you finish doing that yep, one? Yep, I'm done with that one. Okay. This is the one she... She, I don't know if she drew a design on it. I drew a design on there. All right. There we go. Not too far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She drew the design on here. As you can see, her beads here are shorter. She drew a heart for me right here. But she made the beads the exact size. And the rest of them, the black beads mm -hmm. here and here, she made it so that it would um, fit around the heart. And this one is on canvas. So this one was actually an experiment, and it worked very nicely. So yeah. now I know. <laughs> okay. That's it, folks. Okay. That's all it takes. And this one, yeah. There we go. So, there you have it. If you have any questions, just let us know. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.